what's up guys how's it going welcome to kvtv uh i am clown as you guys know and here we are looking at this thing this thing right here i'm covering the atomizer mostly because i could hold it from there and i'm not covering the rest of the mod but it is a recurved dual on top of there uh if you guys saw that earlier this week yeah so yeah there is the odin mech stack we're gonna be looking at that guy we're gonna go on the top down show you guys of it normal unstacked what have you and all that kind of jazz <laughs> and burp and um we'll talk about it and all that kind of thing um so yeah that burp completely threw me off um uh, threw me off my momentum uh yeah so <laughs> uh the odin stack we'll talk about it and all that kind of thing uh we'll do a top down come back up here pros and cons all that jazz but first advocacy do your part please please like I said last week, I am begging at this point. Do your part. Be vigilant. Be aware. The best advocate for you is you. Don't wait for Joe Schmo to do something. Do something for yourself. Do your part. It's one of those things of if you like your freedoms, if you like your rights and all that stuff pr protected, do something about it, you know. Don't just wait around for Kazaa to send you an email. Don't wait for the VTA to like say, hey, we made another lawsuit. You gotta actually do something yourself. If you have means and stuff, you know, make the travel plans for some of the rallies, make the this, make the that. You know? It's one of those things like if they're doing something in Austin, I will figure my way down there. And for me, that's a four hour drive, five hour drive, something like that. So I mean for me to do something, it ain't easy, but I'm going to. I feel like something's on my beard. Yeah, that was a weird stray hair there. All right, so do something. You don't have to do everything, but at least do something. Do every last bit. Do your part. All right, so I'm going to take you guys down, and we're going to look at the Odin stack, and then I'll come back up here and talk some pros and cons. Pros and cons. Cons. I'll catch you guys back up here. <laughs> All right, guys, so here is the Odin 25 stack from Armageddon. Uh, it comes in this nifty little uh, box right here with all of the tabbies to hold it in place. And there it is. It's nicely padded. And at least this is what I got. I mean, I, I don't know if they come with a little bit more than this. Maybe they do, maybe they don't, but this is what I got. All right, so... This is the stack piece right here. This mod, of course, is 18650 to 2650. So you can use either or kind of style battery. Here I have a 2650. Uh, I cannot remember off the top of my head what they are here. Let me see what the sticker is hiding. Okay, here it is. Uh, it's an LG HG6. So yeah, those are the... the the 2650 so it's an lg 2650 all right so we uh that's the button right there i'll show you guys a little bit more of that this is how it goes in there so here let's see uh try to remember how you take this thing off hmm, hmm, hmm. all right so i'm trying to remember I've done this before. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, I get that guy undone right there. And there it released. And yeah, that's the button right there. So there is that right there. This whole block piece sits in here. And then this sits this screws on top of this when you screw it all down and then there's this nice uh, spring so we put that guy back on here put that guy back on here we'll make this sit because that just sits exact to right there So, and we will just put it back in a place. All right, so there that is. 
All right, so I'm gonna show you guys real quick with this atomizer. I got a point one build on here. And uh, the finish is copper, but um, this looks pretty good. Um, this was patinaed by a good friend of mine. This was actually, I was it was given to me through a trade that I did, but uh, the patina was done by a good friend of mine that I know and all that kind of thing. But here, I was gonna show you guys how this thing works in single battery mode with the uh, with the 2650 it's fully charged fresh and ready to go and there is going to be a little bit of a it won't close all the way because of how the atomizer is in there but here check it out look at that isn't that crazy it just does really well that needs to be uh, juiced up a little bit the wicks are kind of dry but that aside i mean this is a really hard hitting mech it really does what it's supposed to and it's just amazing amazing all right so this is one of the ways that you uh you can use it which is single battery mode which is kind of the standard of what you would use it for but if you're just looking for that little bit of oomph a little bit more power and just a lot more heat you get this right here this is the stack section and you can buy these like they're still available through armageddon and florida and all that florida vape supply uh you could get them in single mode or in stack mode but honestly it's worth just getting in stack like the price point and all that but yeah let's see there it is i can fit it in the camera but that is it in stack mode right there look at that isn't that cool the stack section the standard mod and you just run your batteries in there run your battery in there they stack up perfectly and all that but first I need to put a proper atomizer before I try to run it or a properly built atomizer remember try doing like a 0.35 and above if anything honestly I recommend you start at like a 0.5 for a stack or a series style mod Start like at a 0.5 up and then work your way down. That way you could try to find what's comfortable for you within safety limits. I know some people run to like a 0.3. Uh, personally, I don't. I can, but I don't. Just It makes me a little bit uncomfortable. But see, this, this is that bridge coil you guys probably saw in the recurve video earlier this week. And that's why I was building it that way because I was... Uh, gonna record this next but check this out here's the button isn't that crazy yeah that that just oh man and it being copper just makes it so much better because that conductivity is so much much better but i mean you see how that's just an angry angry thing because it's in series Alrighty, so i'm gonna take you guys up top we'll talk some pros and cons and all that kind of thing and We'll wrap this sucker up. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys back up top. All right, I would like to start with saying that today's been somewhat of a long day, so I think I'm starting to get a little tired. So we are going to we're gonna do this guy real good, real right, and all that, and then probably going to call it a day. Uh, I've been recording most of the afternoon. All righty, so... The Odin Stack by Armageddon. It is a 18650 or 2650 mech mod, as you guys uh, heard me talk about on the top down. Uh, this thing will hold up to a 25 millimeter comfortably. That is a 24. It has a little bit of overhang or underhang, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is it in stack mode. And as you can tell, this thing is angry. Check it out. That is it in stack mode, which it's pure pure insanity I, there are some people that love to vape like this i like it from time to time but it's more more or less a novelty honestly but here I'll show you seriously it does really good really great flavor it's amazing on how it works it hits hard it's a mech tube it's a copper mech tube I mean, I don't know what else to tell you guys. I mean, if they made a silver part for the contact, I'd so get one. Here, let me show you guys. This, uh, I'm going to take it apart real quick. Show you guys how it does in single battery mode. Because here's the thing. Um, 
series mods are meant to hit hard and that's just their purpose in life and that's how they're supposed to work and if they don't hit hard there's something obviously wrong with what you built it at or with the mod because they're supposed to hit like stupid stupid hard we put that guy on there the recoil rebel in blue which i don't know i feel like it's very matchy with the mod itself Alrighty, so we put the battery in we got that all set up Let's see it's a little dry we're gonna we're gonna juice her up real quick right here all right we got some juice in there get that top cap back on and this is it in single mode let me see still just a beast honestly just amazing it works great i don't know what else to say honestly like if, like i said it, i i think the only thing that would improve upon this is they made a silver contact for it which i'm not sure if they if there is one out there i'd have to look into it but at the same time i mean not it's not necessary it just it does really well on its own it hits hard it does its job uh mechanical mods just make me happy i can't even express how like i'm a very simple creature and to me that just makes me happy uh as i was saying this patina is actually a patina that was done to it otherwise this uh it just has these little stripes going across it you could feel it in the form of the mod itself but usually that's just uh exposed bare copper that's why the button itself is kind of a uh, patina in its own way instead of like just being a shiny copper it's more of a very worn out penny kind of copper Like I said, that this mod is amazing. I like how it's not overtly tall. I was gonna say high, but it's not overtly tall. It's very simple, very small. I mean, I have relatively okay sized hands, but I mean, most of it is covered up by my hands. So that that says something. Let's see how far. Yeah, there. Right, okay, look, see, most of it's covered by my hand. So it's very uh, easy to use. Very easy to to store and things like that so it makes for a good time all right so um cons i really couldn't tell you any uh, i mean unless you're going to use it in series in series you got to keep in mind that uh, they, you have to build a certain limitation limit you have to keep it to a certain limitation or else you could run yourself into trouble and you don't want to do that you know what i mean so always make sure you are building appropriately to the uh, series version and also to the regular version. I mean, it's still recommended. Do like a point two up. Uh, I, I do vape at a point one up, but honestly recommended is a point two just uh, for safety measures and stuff like that. These batteries run up to 30 amps and the implementation is a little bit harsh when you're lo going so low. So always keep all that in mind. Be aware, be safe out there. This is a hybrid mod. So remember, uh, protruding 510 pin and make sure that it is a static 510 pin. Uh, you don't want that wiggling around and mashing your battery all weird and then ended up getting a short and you get thermal runaway or something like that. Always be safe out there. Uh, during one of my videos, I had put the battery in and then screwed on the atomizer. Remember to do it the reverse way of that. That's what I've been doing throughout this video. Uh, take out the battery first before taking it the the atomizer so that way you don't scratch off that you don't scratch up that top part of your battery right there so remember always take out the battery then take off the atomizer very simple kind of thing that way you don't put yourself in a more in a, some sort of danger um, somebody commented on that video and I'm like you know what I need to show best practices because in the end this is all about safety and we don't want to hear about people getting hurt and something happening to them and then it just kind of blowing up in our face uh literally and figuratively you know we got to stay safe out there and do do everything we can to keep each other safe um all right so with all that being said check out vaping with the omis on the vaping with the omis channel uh i'm not sure when this video will be posting 
I think most likely Monday. So if it is Monday today, go check us out on the channel. There is a link down below for uh, the Vaping with the Omish channel along with Frames Janklin, Poon Sauce's channel. I think Swaggin's channel I've added on there. Uh, Frank Wolf from the Wolf Bite. His stuff is all posted down there as well. So go follow everybody. Go do all the things. Follow on Twitter. I think I have everybody's Twitter updated on there. If not, I'm going to have to do that because we are all on Twitter now. So do be... Um, do be on the lookout for that uh what else uh wolf bite live we do it here on wednesdays as far as i know uh last time we did it was at 2 p.m so hopefully by then uh it will be on two uh wolf on wednesdays at 2 p.m and then the blog on thursdays at 3 p.m and then just be on the lookout for the rest of the videos you know hit that notification bell if you want to um and yeah, that is it. Uh, Patreon, if you guys want to help me grow the channel and stuff like that. The recurve from this video, that was due to the donations of my Patreons and I was able to purchase it. So, some of those things of every little bit helps. I am still self-funded. All the things I do and grab and this and that is all through just my, my uh, 9 to 5 paycheck kind of thing. So... I would appreciate any last bit you, you guys are willing to donate. Um, other than that, yeah. Thank you for joining me. And as always, advocacy. Stay on top of it. You don't have to do everything, but at least do something. And vape on, mix on. That was corny, by the way. <laughs>